Hello everyone, I'm Matt Pierce and welcome to my Cyber Garage. For today's project, we are going to discuss using PowerPoint to record videos. First off, we're going to discuss why you'd want to make videos. So why record videos? Well, one use is to make training videos for work or for school that demonstrate something or get used over and over and over again and save you time. You put a little bit of time in up front and then after that it just gets played out over and over and over. Another use is for bug repro steps. Sometimes a video is best, sometimes there's too many steps, and sometimes it's just easier to do a 10 second video to demonstrate the bug than it is to try and figure out how to write it up, especially if it's complicated. Another use of videos is to make demos. You can play it on an endless loop in a trade booth, up on a monitor, or in the front lobby of your business, you can play a demo. And all these things can be done using a simple PowerPoint uh, to, to make a video. There's other editing tools I can discuss in a different video that you would use to stitch together a bunch of chapters, but uh, just to do something simple, PowerPoint works great, and you can do social media posts as well. So there are two approaches to recording videos within PowerPoint. Uh, the second approach is what we're going to focus most of this demo on. But the first approach we're going to lightly touch on on the next slide, and the first approach is how to narrate a slideshow and have the camera on you as you narrate the slideshow. And Kevin Stratford has an excellent video on how to do that, so I'll redirect you to that with a link below in the description. But the rest of the video will be about approach two, which isn't so much about PowerPoint slides as it is about recording your screen and what's going on on the screen. So approach two is what we're really gonna focus on. So if your goal is approach number one, to have a narrated slideshow video, then I suggest you watch Kevin Stratford's YouTube video in the blue link above and down below in the description. Uh, he's doing a PowerPoint presentation, the yellow box. He set up a demo with Kevin's Cookie Company and walks you through how to make the slideshow into a video. And notice in green, his laptop camera captures the audio and the microphone captures the video. And you can take this green box and he shows you how to move it around on your slide as the slideshow progresses. So it's pretty neat. You should go check out his video. So if approach number two is what you're after, to record the screen activity of, say, a web application and a bug in the web application, or to make a demo out of a web application, then follow the rest of this video to learn how to do that. So to begin your PowerPoint screen recording, open PowerPoint, and then create a blank presentation. And then in the green blinking box here on the menu item, confirm that the recording menu exists. If it does not exist, then click on File, Options, click on Customize Ribbon, the dialog box will come up, and then be sure over here on the main tabs that the recording checkbox is checked, and then click OK to save it. Now this is a one-time thing. Once you've done it, you won't have to do it again, and maybe your install already has it, and you can skip this step. So now we're back at the main screen, and you're going to want to kick click that new recording menu item. And then when the toolbar comes up, click screen recording, blinking in green here. Don't do record slideshow, that's approach one with Kevin Stratford's video. We want screen recording. So go ahead and click that. And then a recording dialog will pop up. You'll want, you, you can toggle the pointer visibility on or off, like my pointer here with a blue circle. I could unclick that and then you wouldn't be able to see that. Likewise, the audio, you can toggle that on or off. But what we're really interested in is to select the area. So go ahead and click that. Use the mouse pointer to left click and then drag the red wire rope down and that's going to be your recording area. And I usually like to get all the way down to the lower corner and get the full screen. But you can select a subset if you want to. Now that the area has been selected, you click on the red record button and that's going to begin recording. And then you wait for a countdown, three, two, one. Uh, notice here that you can always escape with the Windows logo key and the shift and the Q. So you can use the keyboard to stop recording or this little box is going to become enabled and you can hover and click that. So there's two ways to exit the recording. Now, now that the box is gone, you just do your thing. You start talking, and it's all being recorded for as long as you're talking. 
When you're ready to stop recording, you can hit the Windows Shift key and Q, or you can hover the mouse pointer at the top of the window where you started it, and this dialog will come up and you can pause or you can hit the stop button. After clicking the stop button, the focus returns back to PowerPoint. But notice in blinking green that there's now a video object that exists embedded in what was previously an empty slide. You can click the play button here in the green blinking box to test the video and then stop it. So click play, make sure the video looks good the first couple seconds, and then click stop. Next, right click the video object and a menu will pop up. In the blinking green, the Save Media As option, go ahead and click that. And then you'll get a Save As dialog box. And you can only save as, or you're going to want to save as an MP4, so pick a name, like I picked test.mp4, and save it. And I happen to pick it to the, send it to the C temp folder. And you click Save. And then you can go with Windows File Explorer and confirm that the file saved and you can go double click and open and view the file and make sure that the MP4 works. And close PowerPoint and don't save. You just had an empty PowerPoint file and the video object was embedded in it. You don't need to save any of that. Just close it all and you have your MP4 that was recorded using PowerPoint. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.